Welcome to yet another Excel video on how to extract top and rows dynamically using a single formula. On your screens, you can see a data range with six columns. We are going to extract the top and rows based on the selection in this drop down list, which consists of numbers from 1 to 10. The top end rows will be extracted according to the descending value of sales. For that, we are going to use the filter function. So let's type equals filter. This function requires three arguments, two mandatory arguments, namely array and include, and an optional argument if empty. The first argument is the array, which is the entire data range. So let's select the entire data range. Type a comma. The second argument include means the rows to be included based on a certain condition. So for that, we are going to select the entire sales column, type greater than or equal to. The value that we are going to compare here would be the output of the large function. So let's type large. The large function helps us to select the top n values based on the number that we provide. The large function requires two arguments, array, and k. k indicates how many values need to be selected. The large function returns the topmost values from an array based on the number specified. In this case, the array would be the sales column. So let's select sales column. The second argument k would be the value selected from the drop down list. Let's close brackets, type a comma. If the value is empty, let's type double quotes, which would display a blank. Now let's close the filter function and press enter. At the moment we are seeing the num error because there's no selection in the dropdown. Let's select number three in the dropdown. You can see that the top three values are displayed based on the highest value of sales. We can format the sales column by selecting the sales column and click on number. Now if I select a different value in the drop down let's say five we can see the top five values in this list in order to sort the top end rows based on the descending order of sales value filter being an array function we have to select the entire data then wrap the filter function within the sort function so let's type sort start brackets the first argument is array which is provided by the filter function Let's type a comma. The sort index is the column index based on which the sorting needs to be done. Here, the column based on which sorting needs to be done is the sales column. The sort index is determined by counting the number of the column based on which the data range needs to be sorted. In this case, we have six columns and the column index for the sales column is number six. Type a comma. The sort order is descending. We can either type minus one or double click on descending and select it. We can leave the last argument by column blank, close brackets and press enter. We can see that the data range is sorted according to the descending order of sales. Let's select another number, let's say seven. You can see that the rows are sorted in the descending order of sales. Instead of six columns, if we want only two columns, namely customer name and sales, we can select only those using the choose calls function. For that, let's select the entire data range. We shall enclose the filter function within the choose calls function before sorting. Let's type choose calls. The choose calls function returns columns from an array or reference. Start brackets. The filter function provides the input for choose calls. Type a comma. The column number one that we want is the customer name column, which happens to have the column index two. So let's type two. The next column that we want is the sales column, which happens to have the column index 6. So let's type 6. That completes the choose calls function. Close brackets. The output of the choose calls function would be the array for the sort function. The output will have only two columns. The first column would be customer name and the second column would be sales. So we have to change the sort index to 2 and then the order would be descending. So let's press enter and we find that only two columns have been extracted based on the descending order of sales. Let's format the sales column. Now if I change the drop down value to 10, you can see the top 10 values. To recap what we did, we use the filter function to get the top 
n rows based on the selection in the drop down according to the descending order of cells then we enclose the output of the filter function with an choose calls function to restrict the number of columns to two columns namely the customer name and sales in order to sort the rows based on the descending order of the value of sales we use the sort function on the output of the choose calls function hope you found this video useful if you like this video please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues our channel has a lot of useful content with 34 exclusive videos to help prepare for the power bi pl 300 microsoft certification please subscribe to our channel and while subscribing please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all options so that you shall receive immediate notifications as soon as we upload new content in our channel we are really grateful to our subscribers and viewers for their continued support see you again with yet another video have a great day